In fourth grade, I transferred to Rolshi. I never pictured myself at a Jewish school, but I'm glad my parents did. I hardly remember it, but I did recently rediscover my diary from back then. Just a warning, I was not the best speller. <laughs> anyway, this is my earliest entry, written on my first day at Rolshi. Dear Dairy, it was the first day of school. <laughs> Today was good. People have been really nice to me, and I like my teachers. I made an art project, and even though I'm not good at art, it was pretty fun. This skull is definitely better than my old skulls. <laughs> Five years later, I'm standing here as I never thought I would. I have no recollection of writing this entry, but it can describe my entire Roshi experience. Today, I can publish a new entry, this one being on the opposite end of my time here, and hopefully better written than the first. Dear Diary, I'm here graduating today, which is hard to believe. My last words as a student were never legitimately intended to be spoken, but they are regardlessly being said right now. Just five years ago, I arrived at this school not actually expecting to leave. I was probably even afraid of public speaking back then, which is clearly one of the many things that has changed since. I could never have said this speech a number of years ago. Nevertheless, traveled to Israel with my classmates. Between the time that I was a shy 10-year-old who was reliant on my peers and guardians, and the time that I became my current self, a capable and independent eighth grader, I have accomplished and learned more than I thought was possible. Everything that I have done at Rashi, ranging from meeting my 25 classmates who I have grown so close with, to socializing with patients of, of dementia at Newbridge, has led me to become who I am today. I have been through so much here that I am now leaving in my past. I will never forget my journey from fourth grade to now, and I know that I will apply the knowledge that I have obtained throughout it. Roshi has taught me to participate in social justice, to survive two weeks in Israel without parents, be my best self, and if nothing else, Roshi has definitely taught me how to spell. <laughs>